What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So it is Carbonara Day today. So obviously I had to attempt some more traditional Italian carbonara. I'm always afraid to say that I've made something traditional Italian because I know the Italians are just going to like come for me. But I feel like this time I really had more of a success. I used more pasta water, added the pasta water to the egg and cheese mixture prior to adding the egg and cheese mixture to the pasta. So it kind of warmed that mixture up and gave me like more sauce and made it more creamy. And I went ahead and toasted my own peppercorns and freshly ground them myself. So that was exciting. I used a combination of guanciale, which is the more traditional meat used in carbonara and pancetta, but it's only really because I went to go get guanciale and the piece they gave me was like all fat. So I used what I could and then I went and got some pancetta that they actually sliced fresh for me, so yay. So that we've got both of those things in there and I've got a combination of pecorino and parmigiana. Pecorino I believe is the more traditional cheese but since we're just like mixing things up today. I've also got a four cheese sacchetti which is like a little purse shaped pasta. It's got asiago, parmesan, mozzarella, and ricotta inside so I know that's not necessarily the traditional part but either way. Got my forking love you fork. Let's dig in. I'm like epically excited about this. I wanna like get all of that saucy goodness. So much sauce, guys. The importance of pasta water. It just does so many good things. Bon appetito. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. You notice I didn't add any salt to any of this except for the pasta water. And that is because the cheese and the meat are both super, super salty. Doesn't need any additional salt. Just that bit of black pepper, which I have to say, toasting it fresh and grinding it like that just kind of ends up perfuming your mouth with that peppery flavor. Mm. So much sauce. I'm so happy that I finally feel like I've successfully made this. The other times I've made it, it hasn't been saucy enough. And I've added, again, I said before, the cheese and egg mixture directly to the pasta before adding any of the pasta water. And it really is like a danger zone because it makes it way, way, way easier for you to scramble the eggs. And the idea is once that egg and cheese mixture goes in, that you kind of stir it constantly so that you're slowly cooking the eggs like the heat from the pasta the residual heat from the pan from the pancetta so it ends up giving you this really nice creamy sauce assuming you aren't rushing it and getting a little antsy and then you might end up with a scrambled egg sauce which might not be that bad but definitely not what we're going for
I was a little worried because this is fresh pasta and fresh pasta has to cook for way less time in boiling water. And more traditionally, obviously you're using something like spaghetti to make this. Dry spaghetti cooks for what, like 10 minutes, something around there. And you're meant to like half cook the spaghetti because it ends up continuing to cook once you add it to the pan with the pancetta and add the eggs in, etc. So two things, I was like, all right, I'm gonna basically just blanch this fresh pasta so that it doesn't overcook when it gets to the second pan. But I was worried that the pasta water wasn't gonna be very starchy, which is really what helps like bind the sauce together. But somehow it released enough starch to make it not matter. I really love <coughs> serving in this pan. It's just so pretty. I love the blue. Because I decided to serve in here, some of the bottom has accumulated just a little bit of that scramble legginess, but not a big deal. Put some of that extra cheese and pepper on top. Woo! So Shane was out of town this weekend <clears throat> and I was like, oh, this is going to be great. I'm going to be so productive, which I was. I was really productive, but I thought I was going to film Saturday and Sunday. And I just kind of wanted to like have a low key day. I didn't want to like push the limits as far as my calories were concerned. Just, I like to do that if I've had a few heavy days, like, I really love big meals and so when I eat these it's not like I'm like oh my gosh I have to eat so much I like I want to eat the amount <laughs> that I'm eating because I love this food so I decided to give my body like a little bit of a reset just a little bit of a break and I didn't film and now this week it's gonna be like not very nice I was worried today was gonna be like a no-go as far as filming was concerned and it ended up like you know, you like check the weather and it just like the sun keeps extending, which like feels like doesn't happen very often. But when it does, you have to take advantage of it. I was thinking of filming later this afternoon because I thought it was just gonna be overcast all day. But when I saw it was sunny, I was like 11 a.m. Let's do this. To be fair, 11 a.m. is when I started prepping. It was 1.30 right now. There isn't a whole lot of prep involved with this. 
by the way. I just like feel like I'm all over the place when I'm preparing to film. And like filming just takes longer than like if you were to cook something by itself like without filming it. So delicious and really high in protein too all of the ingredients are pretty high in protein the pasta not as much but you would be surprised standard pasta has like seven to nine sometimes ten grams of protein per serving per two ounce serving so that means like half a pound of pasta which I could eat fairly easily has like 30 grams of protein so if you're adding meat <clears throat> into that granted that's like more of a one mealer but it's super easy to add meat into the mix and really get up there this stuff has got 35 grams of protein per container and i used four containers so if i have two containers and that doesn't even account for the sauce which is like all eggs cheese and meat so tons of protein The guanciale and the pancetta. <laughs> the guanciale and the pancetta together. The guanciale is like very, I said it was really fatty before. It's kind of like unctuous though. Like the fat really becomes more uh, chewable, I guess you would say, but like melts in your mouth at the same time. And it does have some meat in there, but the flavor of that fat because I could totally like, tell when I'm biting into a piece of guanciale versus pancetta. The pancetta is just meatier in this case, but they do have a slightly different flavor. It's really nice to have both a variety of meaty goodness.
I started to say it before, <clears throat> but I'm really happy that I just blanched the pasta. The cook time was a three minutes on it, but I just kind of left it in for a minute or so and took it out. And I suppose it could be a little less done for me, but I like really chewy pasta, like almost like just and then eat it. Ooh, the pepper, so spicy. If you get a, like a really nice chunk of it and just like. I am getting all sorts of full right now. This is so good though. So saucy, I'm so happy that the pasta situation worked out, the pasta water situation. I was real worried. I was like, should I boil like another pound of pasta just in case this water ends up being just like plain water and not pasta water? I'm very full. So good, I just wanna keep eating it. I have some extra pasta water though, and for reheating this, what I would recommend, I don't think the microwave is a good idea. I just think, unless you're putting it on like a really low setting and taking it out every like 20 seconds to give it a stir. I don't know, that seems like more work than just adding it to the stove top. I would just add, some of your reserved pasta water to a skillet and just bring it up to temperature and then add your pasta into it and kind of like give it a nice stir just a little bit of pasta water to start you could also like heat up all of your pasta water and just like add like a little scoop see if you need any more so you're not like bringing down the temperature of the whole thing each time um, but that way it'll kind of gently reheat the whole thing so that's my suggestion obviously again make sure you save your pasta water because without it it's just reheating is not going to go very well at all it's already probably not going to go as well as you think <laughs> so put yourself in the best position possible all right i'm gonna have one more bite this feels like a bad idea to take another bite but i'm just gonna do it anyways I need a nap. This guy, and then I'm really, really done, guys. Really done. This was awesome. <sighs> yeah, guys, that was really, really good. Oh, gosh. I feel like I got super lucky today. I absolutely adore my neighbor's girls, um, but I sometimes get unlucky with timing. And they went outside to play, like, right as I was, like, finishing up the cooking and, like, right before I started eating. And you know how kids are. They're like loud 
<laughs> and I'm like, oh no. First I battle the weather, then I'm battling other kinds of noise. Thank God the construction by my house is like seemingly ended. Knock on. Where is wood? I knocked on it. I knocked on some wood. Anyways, guys, summer is here. It's going to be daylight for longer now. Oh, yeah. Just a lot of exciting things. It's going to be warmer now. Look at me. I'm not even wearing a sweater. Fantastic. Plus, what I hear is that things might be opening back up within like a few months. Yay. Shane and I are looking at maybe booking some flights to some places that you're not allowed to go to right now with the hopes that by the time the flight comes along that they will be open obviously like only booking things with free cancellation gonna do that before the prices just go and everybody's trying to book all of these different places i really really i, I was talking to shane before all of this happened and i was like i really want to go to the amalfi coast sicily like southern italy just sounds like absolutely incredible actually amalfi coast might be northern coast of italy either way i would love to visit both places and greece i've been to greece before i really want to go back like oh my gosh guys just like that whole little area of southeastern Europe. It's just, I love it. Anyways, guys, it's like extended uh, plans for this year. Again, I am going to be traveling to Tampa for a wedding, and then I'm going up to Connecticut for my grandmother's funeral. Um, don't worry, I will be getting all of the necessary COVID tests. I like have to to be able to go up there then I'm going to get tested again because I'm going to be going to New York um, for a few days I figure if I'm over in Connecticut might as well go to New York see some uh, of my friends yay do a little Chinatown tour maybe also real quick I know these endings are always super lengthy but you can't complain anymore because I stopped eating <laughs> um I was asked by somebody to address the um, the Asian directed crimes and I just have to say like guys any sort of hate crime any hate crime is is awful it's terrible like we need to all love and support each other just because you look a certain way or you're from a certain place doesn't mean anything at all it doesn't imply anything obviously like just because you are from china does not mean that you have covid brought covid over anything like that it honestly makes me really really uh angry at the news because they have just instilled the fear of god in everyone and not that it's any sort of excuse it's not like not at all like be a decent human being how about anyways guys that was my short little blurb about don't hate on other people just in general like be nice to each other and even like people that approach me and say like i should be um in my position that I should be okay with being subject to ridicule. I don't think it's okay for anybody. I mean, let's not normalize being an asshole to anybody, right? Where's the code? Where's the human code? <sighs> Anyways, um, okay, that's my short little blurb. Love each other, be kind to each other, appreciate each other because without every different type of person in this world this world would not be what it is today it's just a fact of the matter every single type of person on this planet matters and they're here for a reason anyways guys world peace love you guys so much be kind to one another and be nice to me too please <laughs> I just i am a delicate flipping flower i don't care if i'm in the spotlight or how many followers i have i'm a human being and i have feelings so keep that in mind when you're like saying things to me i'm a human being and i'm doing my best over here i really am just doing my best all right guys super lengthy thank you guys so much for joining today just it means so much to me that you come here and you take some time out of your day to spend with me. Uh, time is so precious. I'm learning that more and more and more. So thank you guys. I love you guys. appreciate you. 
comment below what you thought about this recipe. If you're Italian, please be gentle. I know it's not traditional, or maybe it's not traditional. I don't know. You're going to find something wrong with it. I have a feeling, but just be gentle. I tried my best. It was absolutely delicious. Um, if you are Italian, I've had some people and uh, offer to send their grandmother's recipes to me. Lindsay at thehungerdiaries.com. If you want to send me your grandma's recipe <laughs> to make, I am happy to take a look-see at it. I would love to learn how to cook more authentically Italian. I absolutely love Italian food and I love Italy and, you know, I appreciate that Italians are so proud of their food and their culture. I really, really do. Okay, guys, comment all the things below. Thanks again for joining today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.